are you all doing tonight? My name is Big Bobbed Boy, and welcome to A Hunter's Guide to Pets, the best pets for leveling. All right, so what do we want a pet to do while leveling? We actually wanted to do quite a few things. Most important is hold aggro. We're going to be killing a few thousand mobs while leveling, and we want it to be as efficient as possible. Also very important is not die. We need pets to have good survivability because casting revive pet sucks. And we would like it to do some damage. Your spec will also play a big part in pet selection for leveling as well. If your BM and leveling as BM is a lot of fun, you want to favor a pet with a faster attack speed for friends. You're also much, much less likely to have aggro problems since a lot of your DPS is shifted from you onto your pet. So let's take a look at some pets. First up, cats. No surprise here, right? Cats are good pets for leveling. They're pretty much good at everything. They don't have the survivability that some of the other pets on this list have, but they do the most damage. If you're not BM, that will go a long way towards your pet keeping aggro. If you are BM, well, it's just even more damage. They also have good skills for leveling, learning dash, prowl, claw, and bite. The importance of having dash while leveling cannot be overstated. It's incredibly useful for efficiently grinding through mobs. Prowl, while not overtly great, has some neat tricks you can do with it while leveling. Say there's a mob in a house I need to kill, I don't need to clear any of the other mobs, just that specific one. I can run in there and try to burst him down, but I'll probably die. I can send my pet in to tag him and come back out, but he'll probably get dazed and die with that many mobs in there. So I have my pet prowl and use eyes of the beast. I attack the mob I want, have my pet dash back out of the house over a frost trap, then safely and easily kill that mob that way. It might sound complicated, but it's actually pretty fast and easy. I've done it a number of times leveling my night elf hunter. Plus, you know, the meld and prowl synergy. Cats can also learn Claw and Bite. This is pretty convenient for leveling. Bite is generally better than Claw, but Claw is still good. A higher rank of Claw is better than a lower rank of Bite. So just team whatever nearby is the highest rank of either, instead of having to go all over the world looking for the next rank of just Bite or just Claw. Overall, they are one of the best pets for leveling. Next up are Wind Serpents. So what makes a Wind Serpent a good pet for leveling? It's Lightning Breath. Lightning Breath really is just a great pet skill. When leveling with a Wind Serpent, the flow is actually slightly different than other pets, since your pet will attack with Lightning Breath first from range before starting to melee the mob. This tends to have the mob walk a few steps toward your pet before they're both in melee range. And that's pretty nice. It means you generally won't have to walk quite as far to loot the next mob since your pet brought it closer. Lightning Breath is also just Pretty good damage, even if wind serpents do a little less damage than cats. With lightning breath, you're dumping a 50 focus attack on the target immediately. That is some nice threat, and overall wind serpents will do a pretty good job keeping aggro. However, there are only 6 ranks of lightning breath, compared to 8 for bite and claw, and that includes the max rank from son of a car, which you obviously won't get while leveling. Lightning breath only upgrades every 12 levels. After 9 levels or so, you'll really start to see it fall behind until you get that next rank. And again, if you're going to tame and use a wind serpent, make sure it doesn't have a mana bar when you go to tame it. Pets that have mana bars when you tame them usually have lower stats for some unknown reason. Um, there are a few with mana bars that are okay, but there are no pets without mana bars that have messed up stats, so that's just kind of a, a good thing to keep in mind. The level 49 Arash Ethis is a rare spawn wind serpent in Feralis. He's a good one to use as he will come with rank 5 lightning breath, which is the highest up to the level 60 one you can get in ZG, and he also comes with dive rank 2. The only other way to get rank 5 lightning breath is in ST. He is a rare spawn, but usually not too hard to find. For earlier levels, the level 25 Wash Depon and Southern Barons is a good one to tame. It doesn't have the messed up stats, which a lot of wind servants around these levels do, and he comes with Lightning Breath rank 3. Moving on to Carrion Birds. I just call them birds. I don't, I don't need to separate them and just Carrion Birds. They're just birds, okay? They're birds. 
birds are unique on this list because they have screech and you might be thinking why birds over owls or bats and it's the stat modifiers birds are the tankiest of the three but an owl or a bat will work you're just trading a little survivability for damage now normally i would take the damage but on birds specifically i want the armor for leveling the reason is screech affects all targets in melee range so you're likely going to have your bird tanking more mobs at once than you would with other pets generally if i pull two mobs with a bird he can hold aggro on the second target over a serpent sting and one multi-shot just with the threat from screech he doesn't have to do any target swapping there really aren't that many bats to be found while leveling but i have done a little testing on owl vs bird as marksman and i do find the owl takes a little bit too much damage birds also benefit from being able to learn claw and bite just like cats unfortunately birds are going to be a little annoying as horde because the first rank of screech can only be learned from greater flesh rippers in westfall yeah so you can fly to grumgol and then swim to westfall but that's kind of far out of the way and pretty inefficient leveling Thankfully, rank 2 Screech can be learned from Salt Flats, Vultures, and Thousand Needles, so that's not too hard for Horde or Alliance. As Horde, I would use other pets up until around level 32 as Horde, and then tame a Salt Flats Vulture. There's no real variance in Bird's attack speed, so as long as you have Screech and Bite or Claw, just pick whichever color you like. And finally, my favorite, Boars. These guys are amazing for leveling. They've got pretty tanky stats, they can learn bite and dash, but more importantly charge. Charge is an excellent pet ability for leveling. You can dash to one mob, kill it, then charge to the next. This makes boars the most mobile pet out there and very efficient for grinding as you're never really going to need to wait for them to get to the mob you're trying to kill. Another super nice thing about charge is the root. A lot of times if you open on a mob before your pet is in melee, the mob will just go right past your pet. This isn't an issue with boars though, because he will charge the mob to root it, then attack and growl. Charge grants a significant chunk of AP to the first attack after charge, meaning that charge, growl, and auto attack combo is a ton of threat, despite the boar's negative 10% damage modifier. Its other modifiers though are quite nice and tanky at plus 4% HP and plus 9% armor. Another very nice thing about boars while leveling, they eat anything. I joke about their diet a lot, but while leveling that's actually really convenient. You can just toss at them whatever random shit you find instead of having to track down a fruit or fungus vendor, which can be really annoying sometimes. Leveling is all about efficiency and boars are very efficient for leveling. The only downside to boars is as I mentioned before, the low damage compared to other pets. Thankfully, they are really easy to find and tame while leveling. Alliance can tame Princess right at level 10, and she knows charge rank 1, but so does pretty much every other boar in Dunborough and Elwyn. Horde can tame an elder modeled boar literally right in front of Org, who knows charge rank 1. Although, things do get a little annoying for charge rank 3 and rank 4. Rank 3 can only be learned by Belly Grub who's next to Lakeshire and Red Ridge, or some boars in RFK, but it's usually annoying and inefficient to go out of your way to tame dungeon pets. Charge rank four? Uh, can't be learned anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. There are a few abilities where a rank cannot be learned because there are no beasts around that level of that type. So we just don't get a rank four of charge. And charge rank 5 is level 48 at the earliest. So you go from rank 3 at level 24 to rank 5 at level 48. 24 levels without a new rank of charge is pretty rough. Now ranks don't affect the root, cooldown, or anything like that, but they do affect the attack power bonus. And the difference is 210 attack power between the two ranks. That's pretty big. Yeah... Charge ranks kind of are an annoying part of using boars, unfortunately. 
Alright, since most people are going to level as BM, let's look at a few pets good for leveling as BM specifically because of their attack speed. The Rake and Broken Tooth. As I mentioned, you want a fast attack speed for BM, and you aren't going to find any faster pet while leveling than these two cats. The Rake is level 10 with a 1.2 attack speed, and he can literally be your first pet. He doesn't know any skills when you first get him, so you'll want to pick up Bite rank 2 from another pet. Easiest is probably a Prairie Wolf Alpha if Horde, and Prowler if Alliance. Taking him from 10 all the way to 60 is not a bad idea for BM, he's pretty good. He is a rare spawn, but his respawn time really isn't that bad. I've never had any trouble taming him, and I've used him on 3 Hunters. At 37, you can swap the Rake for Broken Tooth to go down to a 1.0 attack speed, but taming Broken Tooth can be really frustrating. A lot of Hunters want him, but Badlands is also just a busy zone, so a lot of the time he'll end up being killed. Either way, both are really good, and I can recommend them for BM. And Spite Flare. So this guy is an absolute unit for BM. Everything I said about birds before applies to him, but he's also got a 1.2 attack speed to capitalize on BM's frenzy. Now, it pains me to say it, but he's kind of impractical. As much as I want to use him, he starts at level 52. You're probably not going to use a bird at 60, so investing in a leveling pet at 52 is kind of a tough sell already. Even worse, he's going to be super hard to tame. He's a rare spawn in Blasted Lands that looks exactly like the other birds there. He's just going to get killed by people doing their buff item quests in Blasted Lands. As good as he is, I'd say just pick him up as BM if you see him while doing your Blasted Lands quests. But trying to camp for him is more than likely just going to end in frustration. I really, really wish we could get this guy at an earlier level because he would be excellent to use as BM. And lastly, I want to mention leveling pets, as in actually leveling up a pet. If there's a specific pet you want to use at 60 that isn't necessarily one of the best pets to use while leveling, I'd still pick it up early and use it while leveling. The reason being, it's a huge pain in the ass to level up a pet once you're at 60. The best way to do it is dungeons, and you're probably not going to do a lot of dungeons at 60 since we're almost into phase 5. So if you want to use Humar, an SFK wolf, or some unique skin like those fabulous tall striders, just pick it up early and level with it. The loss compared to a better pet for leveling is preferable to leveling them up at 60. Alright, so in my opinion, those are the best pets for leveling. I hope there was some information in here that helped you out. If not, well, deal with it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that sub button because I have more Hunter related content coming and subs are a big part of making the channel grow. I really do appreciate each and every one I get. A video about wolves and math. Yeah, no joke, is the next video in the pipeline. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. But that is going to be all for this one. I really appreciate you all watching and I will see you all for the next one.